We are so excited to be able to welcome you all here tonight to have the opportunity to hear from um, Master Mezzotint Printmaker, Hamanishi Katsunori, who is gracing us with his presence here in conjunction with the Expanding Frontiers exhibition. Um, as you may know, we were the very fortunate recipients of a major collection of modern and contemporary Japanese prints from Jack and Susie Wadsworth, which we are featuring now in a special exhibition upstairs in the Barker Gallery. And it is our very great pleasure to be able to invite one of the renowned artists who is represented in the show by three beautiful mezzotints um, here tonight. So, um, Hamanishi Katsunori, a very uh, respected master of mezzotint, is here to talk to us tonight about um, the development of his prints from monochrome to full color prints. And over the past couple of days, he has met with students in a number of different venues. Um, one here with some of the students who took the courses that led up to the planning of the exhibition. Um, those courses were taught by our professor Akiko Wali of History of Art and Architecture, um, with whom we collaborated on this show. And as you'll see, if you go upstairs, a number of the students wrote for the catalog and their names are on the labels for the works that they did original research about. And in fact, if people are still interested on Saturday at two, a number of our students will be doing a student-led gallery tour. So if you'd like to hear from the horse's mouth, as it were, um, you have the opportunity to hear the students' original research. But with that, I'd like to introduce not just Master Mezzotint printmaker Hamanishi Katsunori, but of course our uh, well-respected professor of Japanese history of art and architecture, Professor Akiko Wali. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. My name is Hamanishi Katsunori. Uh, I would like to first of all uh, thank the, uh, everybody at the University of Oregon and for those of you who came today uh, to, for giving me this opportunity. あの、ま、uh, in the past, I have, uh, I have had uh, many opportunities to present my work as well as to demonstrate my techniques in the United States, in China, Russia, and England at museums and galleries. アメリカをはじめ私が専門としているメゾチントという uh, since mezzotint is not a well-practiced technique, uh, nor in Japan or in the United States, and since this is an opportunity to speak to a university uh, audience, uh, I planned to uh, speak at particu uh, on a particular topic, uh, and I thought about it quite a deal, uh, even when I was in Japan. あの、
Yesterday at the print studio, I had the opportunity to uh, present and demonstrate my techniques and I brought my plates and some samples to present to um, students and audience. But today, um, it is the time is unfortunately short, so what I would like to do instead is to talk more about the images that I create. And um, I, uh, this is somewhat personal, so um, I hesitate to speak about this, but um, here we go. あの、<笑> え、エクスリブルス増評表というちっちゃなあのカードですけれどもそのカードを入れて so um, I have created from, uh, from small plate to a very large works, I have created about 700 works. Uh, from those um, 700 works, what I brought today um, with as images are the transitional pieces um, that speaks to uh, why I chose mezzotint and why I chose certain uh, motifs at certain time. So the works that you will see today are mostly this size. So please have this size in mind as you watch, look at the um, slides. So the work, the piece that I used for demonstration yesterday is this piece. This is kind of an aside. あの、so um, as many artists, I started off my career and study through oil painting. And then for uh, printmaking, I started off doing lithography and then um, woodblock printing using water-based ink. And for the lithography, uh, sorry, intaglio, I started with etching and aquatint. So I started off with the basic techniques. ま、自分にとっては非常に記念碑的な作品ですけれども、あの、最初先ほどあの、エッチングとかアクアチントの技法から始めたって言いましたけれども、あの、ま、自分の版画の作品を作っていくためにはですね、エッチングとかアクアチントはあの、3を使うわけです。足と使うわけですね。あ、あ、sorry。あ、そうです。This and as you may know, Japan, uh, you have to live and work in very small space. And etching and aquatint, uh, as you may know, use acid. あの、ご存知のように、アシートを使うということは非常に大人でも体に害があるわけですね。で、子供が生まれたわけですから、
あの子供にあ赤ちゃんにそのアシードの移植する二酸化窒素ガスですねそれがあのいいわけありませんのでその時に私はあの版画の中でも、うん、極力アシードを使わないテクニックはないかということをあの、うん、考えていたわけです。As you may know, acid you know, is、uh, not very good for your health as an adult, but it's even worse for children. So I started to think about techniques that I didn't have to use、uh, chemicals too much. I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day. Uh, before I fully embarked on mesotint, I used a mixed technique uh, combining uh, etching, aquatint, and mesotint. The Kodomo got this, and I'm sorry, you're too much arky or she does the coloring this, and I'm Tama Tama, yeah, the Kodomo no Lusuban, Kodomo to Shoni, Lusuban or Sterkoto, and Stenakia, I can't send this there. The Kodomo no Tsumiki, this, and I'm Wood Brook. あの子供と一緒にこう遊んでたわけです。So, um, so that's what I was doing, and when my son became a toddler, there was a、uh, in moment,、uh, there was a, a day when I had to、uh, look for, look, look after my child, and we were playing using wooden blocks. その時のアイデアの作品がこの接合シリーズという。ジョイントシリーズですね、そのシリーズの作品を作りました。はい、そう、The、uh, joint series, which is this series, is、uh, derived from this experience of playing using wooden blocks with my child。これもそうです。あの積み木には、えっ、ー、と、円筒形とか、角柱とか、いろんな形がありますよね。そこの部分をですね。あのこの作品であれば円筒形向こうが円筒形こう拡張拡張そこを手でこう隠したわけですねその接合部分を手で隠したわけです。So this is、uh, from the same series and if you know you know those wooden blocks that you play with children there are many shapes、um, for instance cylinder and these、uh, squares and what happened was so this is cylinder and that cylinder and、uh, So,、um, uh, I hidden the connection between four different blocks with my hand. <laughs> so, at that time, you know, I totally forgot that I need to be looking after my child, and I was kind of playing with the wooden blocks. <laughs> 私は実はですねあの、えー、アートのスクールではありませんでしてユニバーシティ総合大学の教育学科っていうところを卒業しましてあの美術学部っていうのができたばっかりだったので私の先生がですね彫刻の先生だったんです。So, um Unlike many artists, I did not initially graduate from art school, but I graduated from university. And、at the educational, education department. And it was around the time when the art department was just being established, and my professor was a professor of sculpture. その先生がですね、自分のこう木彫のアーティストでしたけれども、木彫の作品を作る前にですね、こうクレーね粘土でマーケット、大きな作品を作る前に、粘土で形をこうアイデアを練るために、私。生徒と接するときもですね、いつも片手に粘土湯道を持ってまして、で授業中自分の作品のアイデアをこう練ってるわけですね。Okay. So my professor of sculpture, he was a wood sculpture, but a wood sculptor. But、um, what he did was when he created a large piece, he had he often made small clay models, and even during Class in classroom when he's engaging with his students, he always held a lump of clay and he was always thinking about his ideas. I'm not sure if you're a person who's 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 a
一番最初にあのアーティスト芸術家と呼ばれる人に会ったのがその彫刻の先生だったためにあのその先生からの影響というのは非常に強く感じたわけです。So, for somebody who works in a two dimensional medium, for instance, painting,、uh, an artist might draw a sketch to think about one's idea. But since、um, when I first came from the northern、uh, island of Hokkaido,、um, sort of a, a northern, uh, uh, slightly remote、um, island of Hokkaido, Uh, to study in university,、um, it was the first time I met somebody who was quote unquote artist. So I、uh, received quite a bit of、um, influence from this、uh, professor of sculpture. そしてあの自分が作品を平面の作品、彫刻はやろうという気,は気持ちはありませんでしたけれどもあの、作品のアイデアを作る時のそのヒントというのは、その彫刻家がですね、あの実際のマーケットを作るために素材をまず集めるということをするんだなということを見まして、私もこういう平面の作品を作るときにですね、あのまあこれ積み木木でできた積み木、それから手で真ん中を押してもあの隠してもですね、手,手はあまり絵として面白くないわけですから、あの木のフラットな面に対する布の質感、ふわっとした質感、違うものをこうこの画面の中でぶつけて実際こういう作品を作るときにはこれと全く同じあのモデルを作ってるわけです。So I never intended to become a sculptor, but what I learned from this professor was this idea of collecting material in order to come up with an idea for one's work. So even when I create this two dimensional piece, what I'm doing here is collecting materials to have、uh, conceptualize my work. And Covering the, these wooden blocks with hand, I thought, was not very interesting. So he wanted to use a material, the cloth, that gives a different kind of texture、um, to the piece. これもそうですね。あの前の作品に近いですけれども、こう見方、あのディメンションを変えてるわけです。あの横から見たのを縦から見て。ですから、まあ何のことはないんですけれども。拡張の後ろには円柱、円柱の後ろには拡張、この後ろにはおそらく円柱があるという、そういうアイデアですね、そのアイデアをこの中に入れたわけです。So, this is very similar to the piece,、uh, the print before, but it switches the angle. And, you know, that, that's kind of you know, three dimensional thinking. And、um, as you can see, there is the square block, square block, and cylindrical block, cylindrical block. And you see the top of the cylindrical block. So, the piece insinuates that this, there is perhaps a cylindrical block below that square block behind, although we can't see it. でこの真ん中の,あの包帯、バンデージですけれども、その通常、我々が傷口にやるバンデージですと、まあ、最も布らしい質感というのはなかなか出てこないわけです。それで私はその包帯代わりになる布をですね、あの木綿で短冊状に切りまして、このモチーフを作る、モデルを作る前の日にですね、あの洗濯をするわけです。その木綿はこうシワがあまりこうの伸びないわけですね、ポリエステルとか化学繊維に比べて、で木綿をですね、あのー、洗濯物のところにこうかんぴょうホルミ<笑>あの干すみたいにいっぱい前の晩に干すわけです。干しておきました。So for the cloth, the bandage,、um, rather than using a bandage that you use to wrap a wound,、uh, what I did here is to create this texture. Um, cut a small, like long strip of cotton. And the day before I created this model, I washed all of these strips of cotton and hang using hanger、uh, laundry clips so that the cotton will get the wrinkles.、Um. So I made this motif and put it on the floor and put it on the floor. So I made it on the floor. 作品ですから光、ライティングをいろいろ変えましてね、最もその立体があの自分のイメージにふさわしいライティングして、普通のそれからあの花とか人物をドローイングするみたいにあの紙に置き換えたわけですね。
So once it, I created this three-dimensional model, I put it on the table, and I, you know, since I am converting three-dimensional motif into a two-dimensional piece, uh, I played with lighting um, and to to um, figure out, and I played around with the dimension to figure out the exact optimal lighting for my piece. And then I started drawing just like I would draw a flower or um, human model. この真ん中のはですね円筒形で円を作るこれは三角形で三角形を作るというそれぞれのモチーフの中にその二つのアイデアを入れているらしいです。Okay, so this piece, this piece, and this piece, as you can see, are same using the same three-dimensional model. So what he's, uh, what I'm doing here is to create. Uh, uh, square to come up with a uh, rectangle, the square, and uh, what do you call it? The donut shaped um, cylinder to create a circle, and a uh, triangular shape to create triangle. あの積み木の中にはですね、この角柱とか円柱形というのはあるんですけれど、あ、三角柱というのはあるんですけれども、この円筒形の積み木というのは。あまりないんですね。この円筒形の木でできたのをですね、東京のデパートを探しに行ったんですけれども、結局あの円柱形で円柱形でできたこうサークルというのは積み木の中にないんですね。So for the um, wooden blocks that children play, you can find the square shape and the triangular shape, but it's actually uh, not easy to find this donut shape. So I went around different department stores looking for this shape, and I just could not find it. これをですね、あの自分で木を削ってですね、丸を作れば一番理想的なんですけれども、それを作ってるだけでも作品が自分の版画ができちゃうわけですよね。大変な作業なので、それは諦めました。<笑> So the easiest thing to do, I thought, was to create this donut shape myself by carving wood. But the time I spend carving wood creating this donut will be the time that I can spend making print. So I decided to give up on that idea. So uh, so I was thinking about this donut shape every day and it was, you know, uh, from morning to night it was about this donut and then one day this godlike inspiration came to me. それはですね、朝こう布団に日本は畳を振るわいに寝てますね。目が覚めましてね、上をこう見たんですね。そうしたらフロレスングライトですね、フロレスングライト。あ、これだ。早速ですね、顔も洗わないで、あのその<笑><
これはですねやはりあの実際こういうシェイプっていうのは実際木,あの木ではないのであの今度は誘導粘土でこの形を作りましてねあの包帯を巻いて作った作品なんですけれどもあの私先ほど言いましたように北海道の北で生まれたためにまあしかも1940年の戦後の生まれですのであまり遊ぶものがないわけですね。それであの小さい子どもの時にですね屋根を日本は屋根を吹く時に木のマサっていうんですけども木を薄く裂いたマサで屋根をこうあの、まあ、トタンとかと同じように屋根を吹いてたそのマサをですねあのこう裂いて自分でプロペラブーメランみたいなものを作ってですね遊んだ記憶があるんです。So, this piece,、uh, it's impossible to create this piece. Well, there is no piece shaped like this in wood. So, I created this shape,、um, three dimensional model using clay.、Uh, well, the inspiration for this is I, as I mentioned, I was born in this remote、uh, island of Hokkaido, and、uh, I was born in 1940s, so、um, right after the war. And,、um, What, what people used to do with roofs in Hokkaido were to use these wooden shingles. And、uh, when I was a child, there w a s not many things, you know, toys. So what we did was to make a strip using these wooden shingles and create a propeller toy. I'm sorry, I'm not 1940. <laughs> I was born 1949. <laughs> So, after 1940s. <laughs> Sorry, 1949, my mistake. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> But anyway, これはあのあのブーメランなんですねあの。空に向かって投げると、これがこう戻ってくるという小さい子供の頃の思い出のトイですね。トイをあの作品にした作品。あのあ so, Sorry, it's not a propeller, but it's actually a boomerang that、um, you throw and it'll come back. And this is based on that memory of childhood play. Yeah. 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 This is a variation. Hi. So, this is a variation of this earlier piece. So, instead of having four pieces、uh, intertwined with each other, now this has six pieces. タイトルがウィメンとメンということで皆さんのイメージで考えてください。女性と男性と。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。まあ、あの素材が湯度なの粘土なので、まあ、ほんのちょっとのこうウェーブもできるようになったわけですね。Because these,、uh, the models are made, now made out of clay, I can create t h i s very subtle curves. はい、はいはい、これ、先ほどのこの作品ですね。あのまあ、急にクレーからこの紐、ロープに変わったわけじゃありませんけれども。まあ、あの実際のモチーフを絵にするというアイデアは一緒です。まあ、それまでの粘土からあのロープに移った作品の第一作目ですね。Okay. これがウィメンと。So this is the original of the piece that you see on the slide.、Um, and it's not that I suddenly changed from clay to rope, but this is the very first piece that I created Um, when the motif, my motif changed from the clay to rope. この作品を作ったきっかけは,はですね、まあ、たまたまあの東京の方に出てきてて、あの田舎に北海道に帰った時に、私が小さい時に遊んだあの海ですね、浜が
あの、まあ、小さな町ですので海も山もすぐ近くにありましてよく海で遊んだわけですけどもその小さい時の思い出をたどってあの、まあ、大きくなってからもう一度故郷の海に遊びに行ったんです。So the,、um, the inspiration for these rope series came when I went back to my hometown from, you know, I was working in Tokyo, when I went back to my whole time in Hokkaido. It was a very small、uh, village, but it had mountain and it had sea. So I played with both, you know, in the mountain, but also I also went quite often to the beach. So when I went back this time as an adult, I wanted to kind of trace the child, my childhood memory, so I went to the beach. これがそうなんですけれどもたまたまあの北海道のビーチで見つけたこの実際のオブジェといいますかあのロープですねおそらく漁師の方が何か漁で使ったあのモチーフだと思うんですけどもこれがあの浜に落っこってたんですけども落ちてたのをあの見つけたのがこの作品を作るきっかけになったんです。So, this is the rope that I found when I visited the beach that time. And this was probably a rope that was used by fishermen for some sort of fishing purposes. But I found this, and that became the inspiration for this piece. このロープのですね、何に興味を持ったかといいますと、こちらもそうですけれども、太いロープで一気にやって、それから小さいロープで特に大きくするというような、その縛り方もですね、普通、あのただ、装飾的に飾っ作ったものではなくておそらく寮の方がですね決して離れないようにあの結び目があのほつれないように、まあ、命に関わることもあるかも分かりませんねですから非常にですねこの作品を見た時に何かあの独特の感じ力強さといいますか決してああの平面の表面の綺麗さだけじゃなくて何かこうまあインスピレーションを与えてくれたわけです。So what inspired me the most about this rope were these knots.、Um, and as you can see in my print, the knots are you know,、uh, some、uh, very thick rope that are tied using、uh, thinner ropes. And it seems, it felt to me like this was kind of the knot that had very Functional, practical purpose that some fishermen you know, really tied the knot very, very tightly, and you know, it perhaps had some sort of you know, uh, uh, life support function. And when I saw this rope, I felt you know, I was inspired because it was not just something pretty, but it had a functionality. ロープシリーズが始まったんですけれどもあの日本はまあ非常に歴史の長い国でしてえまあシンボライズといいますか一つの形の中にいろんな意味を込めるというそういうあの習わしがあり,あります今でもあるわけですけれども。Okay. So the、uh, discovery of this rope was the inspiration to start this rope series. But in Japan, there is a long tradition of、um, reading、uh, symbolic meanings into certain forms. 例えばですね、皆さんが日本に旅行なさったことがある方もいらっしゃると思いますけれども、例えばあの酒場、リカーバーですね、あの飲み屋さんに行きますと、店の前にロープが、のれんがですね、こう垂れてるのがあ,あると思いますけれども。そのノレンロープで結んだノレンがあったりしますと、それを飾ることによってその店がオープンしているというまあ証になるわけです。So、um, for those of you who have visited Japan might have seen this, but if you go to Japan and go to, for instance,、uh, a bar, sometimes what you see is、uh, in front of the front entrance is this curtain, sometimes made out of、uh, you know cloth, but sometimes made out of rope, and when you see this rope Curtain, that means that the shop or the restaurant is open. So, no, 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 no,
signal that if you have it on, then the shop is open, and if you take it off, then the shop is closed. But at the same time, by having this rope curtain, it creates a clear boundary between the outside and the inside. それから例えばあの日本のお寺さんとか神社をお訪問した方はご存知と思いますけれども、特に神社のですね境内の周りにこんな大きな幹にですねロープを巻いてる木がよく見かけると思います。So um, if you go to, for instance, temples and shrines in Japan, particularly shrines, what you might find is um, this very large tree that has rope tied around it. それはですね、あの、ロープを巻くことによって他の木とは違うんだということを示しているわけです。そのロープを巻いている木は神に近い木だということを表しているわけですね。いや、and ま、いろんな意味があるんですけれども。ま、この写真を見て、あの、もう気がついた方がいらっしゃるかもわかりませんけども、この私のTシャツのところにもロープがこうついてる。気がついた方いらっしゃいますかえ、ああ、本当だ
これはまあロープでオブジェを作るというよりも私の興味はですねメゾチン島の,あの可能性といいますか例えばあの画面の中で非常にシンプルな形をこの面積と面積に対する真ん中にほんの少しロープをこうやるそれからメタテといいましてあの昨日のメゾチントのデモンストレーションであのまずメゾチントはキャンバスを作るところから自分でやるというようなことをあの説明しましたけどもこれは途中でここから下は途中で止めて向こうはベーシックな真っ黒い素地を作ったというその色の違いをトライした作品です。So, in this case, this is not as much about the rope as object, but it's more、uh, pushing the boundary and experimenting with the mezzotin technique. So, this is about two planes the plane on the top and the plane at the bottom. And the, what delineates the two planes、um, is this rope. And、uh, If you know how,、uh, you know, the technique of mezzotint, what you will have to do first is to have a copper plate, and you will have to use this tool called a rocker to create the burr that will be chiseled out and burnished to create this velvety black. So that's the initial state of creating sort of a canvas for the motifs. So what I am doing here is to create this,、um, complete this. Process of creating the plate on the top, which you see reflected in this velvety black. But the bottom part, I hope you can see on the slide, is a little bit lighter gray and a little bit coarse. And that's because I stopped this plate creation initial step halfway. Thank you, Akiko san. <laughs> Akiko san, Akiko san explain <laughs> more than my talking. <laughs> この作品はですねこロープを持ってましてあの少しこうねじってあげるわけですねじりますとそのロープの,あのなんていう中央に無理がかかってちょっとこうグッとねじってるうちに形がグッと上に上がるんですねその限界をこの、まあ、緊張度といいますかそれをこの作品に。So, this is you know, when you have a rope and you kind of push it from both sides and add pressure. May, oh, sorry. When you twist it you know, just, a, just a little bit and you, you, get, you apply this pressure, and there is this moment that the middle part gets waved just a little bit. So, this is that sort of tension that you see here. 先ほど彫刻家から並んでオブジェを作って書いたということからですねちょっと平面の中での画面構成黒とグレーとモチーフというような画面の面積比をちょっとこうイメージ始めた頃の作品です。Right around this time, I started to think about the plane and you know, multiple planes and the motif within, within the plane. Please, please, please. This is the same thing. The idea is the same. 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 So, this is a similar idea from the previous piece, but the rope is different. So, this has two ropes that are joined together at the center. So, this, you know, the、um, inspiration for this is a tag pole、um, that、uh, ch children do、um, in school and, you know,、uh, athletic. Competitions in Japanese elementary school. Yeah, yeah, see. Hi. Ano, kura series mono de, jongakseng a yotsuami to ka mitsuami っていう ma Indian なんかもそうかもしれませんね。髪の毛をこう四つ編みします。これ三つ編みです。それを一つの画面に入れたわけですね。Okay, so this is two、uh, piece、uh, in one.、Uh, this is a single print with two images, and this is you know. 
uh, sort of like school children's braiding the hair. And this is uh, three bra braiding, and this is four, four lines braided together. これ、もうまあ、あの、最初のイメージに近いですけども、この この作品に関しましてはロープとそれからあの包帯それにですねこの針金この針金がですね向こうと上と同じ形なんですけれどもその針金とロープの間に布があるのとないのということをあの表現してたんですねそう so these again are uh, along the similar line but in this case i added a uh, wire um and the wire are act the wires on the top and the bottom are actually basically the same, but by inserting the cloth in between for the bottom one, there seems to be uh, uh, there is a difference, and uh, this piece is um, kind of uh, uh, to appreciate this this contrast. ご存知のように、こういうふうに、あの、白黒の作品、これ、ま、フロレスングライトですけども、あの、白黒の瞑想チントというのは、あの、どうしてもですね、あの、昨日の説明がありましたよ、しましたように、かつて瞑想チントを
So every, everybody said, these are such detailed photographs, amazing. And you know, the first person who came in, I explained in detail that these are not photographs, but then you know, since 80% of the people thought that these are photographs, I got tired of explaining. And I thought, maybe this is the time I need to change what I do. So, I was lucky enough to have a book in 1987年にあの、日本の文化庁というあの、長がですね、外 so in the 1980s, there was this government scholarship to send artists to um, overseas to study. And I had to try it three times, but I did it three times. And the third time in 1987, I got the scholarship and I came to Philadelphia and studied for a year.今までのことを継続してはもったいないので、今までやってた白黒のメゾチンと何とかこの機会にチェンジしようという気持ちで、今までの仕事を全部捨てる気持ちでアメリカに来ました。そう、since just throw away or leave aside everything that I've done so far and came to United States. あの、ご存知のように平デルフィアはニューヨークまであの各駅停車で2時間ぐらいのところですので、まああの時間がある限りはニューヨークの近代美術館とか双方とかいろんなところを回ってま現代美術をなるべく多く見ようと心がけました。
ありますね。それからですね、あの私がペンシルバニア大学っていうところに所属してたんですけども、ペンシルバニア大学のアパート、我々が住んでたアパートからそのハンガー室に行く途中にですね、図書館を通るんですけども、図書館の前にですね、まあ、これも1年間、まあ、半年ぐらいの後に気がついたんですけれども、こういう白いですね、あの滑り台みたいオブジェがあったんですね。最初はなんだかよくわからなかったんです。Okay, so、um, this is kind of homage to the Odenbach's work on the, the laundry pen that is in Philadelphia.、Uh, one time when I was walking by the Philadelphia library, there was this object that was like a white、uh, slope. で歩いてるとき、あ歩いてるときは。ただこういう山形なのでそれがどういう形態な彫刻かよく分かりませんでしたそしてまああのアメリカに子供幼稚園の子供と小学校の3年生の男の子2人家族で行ってたわけですけどもうちの子供たちがここからですね滑り台でこう滑るぐらい大きな彫刻なんですね。So, um... When,、uh, when, I was, when I was just walking by this uh, uh, installation, it was such a large piece that it only looked like a white mountain. But it was such a large piece that my sons,、uh, one was elementary school and the other was、uh, kindergarten, they were able to almost slide down, use it as a slide. In Japan, the children are not going to be able to do that, but it is not going to be able to do t h t But it is not going to be able to do it. So, in that is unthinkable to allow a child to get on an installation and use it as a slide. So, I thought, what an what a open country the United States is. But, in fact, this is. この彫刻は何の彫刻か分かりませんでしたけどもある時歩いてて芝生のところにキャプションがありましたでそのキャプションにですねオールデンバークのボタンって書いてあったんですねオールデンバークというのは当然有名な作家ですから私はびっくりしたわけです。So at that time I couldn't quite figure out what the installation was about but、uh, another time when I walked by and I went around the long I saw a label which said that it's the Oldenburg's Button. あのそれでその作品をぐるっと回ってよく見ましたらこれがボタンだっていうことが分かったんですねですからヘリコプターがなんかで上から見るとこういうボタンをですねあの真ん中からカットしてそれをこういうふうに傾斜した作品だっていうことがその時初めて分かったわけです。<笑> so, um, since he is such a renowned artist, I was very, very surprised and I walked around the piece. And I realized that it is a button that was cut in half. And if you look at it in、um, bird's eye view, you will see that it's a, a half cut button that had this、uh, slant to the side. Oldenburg is a very important thing, but I think it's a good thing. 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 So,、uh, since I had the opportunity to be in Philadelphia and engage with his artwork,、um, uh, I decided to、uh, make an homage to his pieces and put、uh, this red rope just to the side to indicate myself and my piece. From the time of the time, the time of 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 the time. あの先ほどの,あのバーネット・ニューマンのこう鮮やかなあのオレンジ色とか黄色というのはどうしても同版画の宿命上あの色が握るにこう印刷するときに濁るという弊害がありましてそれを解決するためにまた時間が必要だったわけです。So, this is when color starts, started to come into my you know, black and white pieces. But Um, you know, it's、uh, because this is uh, 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 intaglio, it's actually impossible to achieve that sort of bright color that one might see in oil painting. 
色が濁らないためには上にですね銅板の上にクロームメッキとかすればいいんですけれどもメゾチントの場合にメッキをしますとハーフトーンが消えちゃうという問題がありましてなかなかあのメゾチントの作品にメッキを施すということは難しいあの制約があるわけですね。For other type of intaglio prints, what you could do to achieve bright color and to avoid the sort of、um, you know, darkening of color is to do chrome coating. But because for mesotint, if you do a chrome coating, then the half tone gets、um, disappeared,、um, it's a little bit difficult. So, this is also a piece、um, that is an homage to Barnett Newman. Okay. Yeah. Barnett Newman was a chok sen desk, but, um, 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 あの定規とかを置いて製図を書くみたいに私のアトリエに使うモチーフが少しずつ変わってきたわけです。今度はコンパスとか定規とかそういう設計ゾーン上道具が机の上に並ぶようになりました。So um from around this time um you know Barnett Newman is known for、uh, straight lines but from around this time uh My motif started to change and my tool for designing started to change. Instead of you know, thinking like sculptor,、um, I started to think like, for instance,、uh, an architect designer. And on my desk, I started to have a compass or ruler. あの円を描くこれはまあ2分の1に持ってきてこの半円とこの半円が平行を描くとまあそんなような幾何学的なまあ設計図の設計図をもとにしたような例えば黄金分割をどうするかというようなちょっとこう絵とは関係ないかも分かりませんけどもそういうようなことがこの絵の奥に隠れてるわけです。So in this case What I did was this is a square. So, this、uh, width and that、um, height is exactly the same. And I drew a diagonal line and I used a compass to create this、uh, curve. And on this side,、uh, I cut the plane in half. And then I came up with this uh, wonderful uh, curve that is parallel to this curve. So,、um, This is more,、uh, in a way, mathematical and、uh, it's more uh, uh, based on a、uh, uh, 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 plan or, or、uh, design. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and ask you. あの花をなさった方はシンコレズリーというのがあるんですけどもそのシンコレを鉛でこうあの紙の間に挟めてるわけですねなぜこんなことをするかと言いますとこの鉛の箔というのは印刷してもあの紙は銅版画の場合は濡らして印刷してあの印刷が終わりますとパネルにテーピングをしまして紙を伸ばすわけですけども金属の,このレリーフが残るわけですね。あの金属ですから、まあそういうようなあのちょっと素材の違いさに興味を持った作品です。So this is for this piece, I was more interested in difference in texture. So、um, might be a little bit difficult to see in slide, but at here,、um, what I did was to,、uh, to use shinkole and have the lead、um, uh, leaf that is sandwiched between papers. Um, and in uh, uh, intaglio, uh, when you do um, printing, um, you know, when you pass it through the press, you will see the、uh, impression of the metal plate. And you know, this is sort of an inspiration coming out of that and、uh, created this、um, element. この頃の作品になりますと、あのメゾチントだけじゃなくて。ここはコログラフというテクニックですね。あのジェスをこの刃の上に乗せてあのこういうモチーフを作るとか
ですからちょっとメゾチントだけじゃなくてメゾチントに他のテクニックをこう合わせたあの作品ですね。So this is、uh, mixed media and、um, this, is, uh, uh, this area is done using、uh, holograph, holograph、um, using gesso. あの今度はここから横に持ってきたのが正方形だと思うんですね。おそらくそうだと思います。こ,のここから正方形の中に対角線をあの引っ張って、その対角線に隣接する円、それからこちらが卵ですね、卵のシェイプをあのロープとあの半のコーナーにこうぶつけたというような、まあ、抽象作品。でここにはホログラフ、実装で。このマチエール、黄色の赤い上にイエロー丘で印刷してるんですけども、ちょっと上とは違うあのマチエールを作ってるわけです。So for this piece,、um, if you draw a line right here, it creates a square, and this rope is the diagonal of that square, and this circle is a circle that touches on the three s i d e of this triangle, and at the bottom, I came up with this egg shape. And what you see at the bottom,、um, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but this is sort of like embossing、um, that is used, crea、uh, created using gesso. And I have、uh, red pigment、um, overprinted with yellow to create this, achieve this effect. このぐらいあの抽象的な作品になりましても、相変わらずですね、ご存知のように、こうこの私のロープが<笑>出てくるわけですけども。あの最後の最後までこういうあの実際のものですね、ものが画面から排除するってことはなかなか私にはできなかった。今まで使ってた実際の手で触れるものですね、ものを画面の中に入れたという。So even for an abstract piece like this, there is this my signature rope and Even when I'm creating an abstract piece,、um, it is very difficult for me to completely get rid of、um, some sort of tangible thing、uh, in my print. ですからここと向こうのまあ表面のマチエルがちょっと違うということですね。So this piece is a similar idea and it might be a little bit hard to see but this bottom part has red、um, and the entire piece has this velvety、um, signature mezzotint black. So because of this red, the texture of the bottom part and the top part、um, is a little bit different.、Okay. Yeah, same, same. Similar idea. いやこれもそうですけども、これはまあここまで赤い版が上に来てるんですけども、こ,この絵を作ったきっかけというのは、ちょっとまた長くなっちゃいます。日本の,あの古典で、蜘蛛の糸というお話がありましてね、あの地獄からあのまあ芥川龍之介がそれで、蜘蛛の糸という小説を書いたんですけれども、悪人が天,天井から蜘蛛の糸を垂らして、悪人がこう登ってきて、切るということを、この、ロープに託したわけです、ね。Okay. So this piece、um, again has this red、uh, plate that's coming down all the way to here,、uh, and it has this rope that hangs from the top center of the composition. And this piece is based on a very famous story called the spider's、uh, web or st spider's string that is、uh, written by Akutagawa Ryunosuke, and that story. Is about、uh, heaven and hell, Buddhist heaven and hell. And one day, the Buddha was strolling along the Pure Land and had this pond, and he looked down upon the pond and he saw hell. And he saw all these people kind of uh, uh, suffering in hell, and one of them he recognized because he, is, he was a crook and he was a, a, a total villain. But then one time he actually saved the spider. So the Buddha felt compassionate and he. Uh, sort of drop down the spider、uh, string, what do you call it, the web, St spider web, so that he can grab onto it and come up to, to Pure Land. But when Buddha started pulling the 
spider web and the villain sort of clutching onto it, other people in hell started to cling onto him. And the villain got worried that the spider web will you know, be cut because there are too many people. And he started kicking and you know, getting rid of the other people. And then when Buddha saw that, the spider web was cut and he fell right down back to hell. So this is an homage to that story. Thank you. <笑>そうですね。<笑><笑><笑> this is uh, uh, an exemplary piece from my uh, spiderweb series. And uh, in many of my pieces, I reference literary uh, tales, uh, such as the spider web, which is actually, you know, Akutaga Ryunosuke wrote it, but it's actually based on an older tale. Yeah. Yeah. So this, uh, you see the so this too is um, a combination of branch, rope, and wire. あ、これはちょっと違います。あの、先ほどあの、あれ、夢言ったかな、まだ言ってないな。日本のあの、シンボライズっていうことで、ロープをあの、のれんの話をちょっとしましたけれども、のれん以外にですね、あの、米の稲
the fields are not necessarily always square, but there are many shapes and one has to use, you know, uh, small planes or even the um, mountainside to create field, so rice field. So these are my image of rice field. この縦の線横の線というのはですね、この稲穂が実った後にですね、あの農家の方がカットするわけです。その残った稲穂の残りですね、この縦横のライン。So the vertical and horizontal line you see here, this is after harvest that the a little bit of the rice, um, the bottom part is uh, remain after cutting the rice. からこの金がなぜ出てきたかという、その so this is um, gold leaf that is applied, and the inspiration for using uh, gold leaf actually relates to rice, because in Japan, when the rice is, um, you know, uh, abundant, uh, and in autumn, it's often called the golden color, koganeiro. So um, by applying gold, um, I am trying to kind of uh, indicate that this is, you know, the symbol of abundance, and it's the gold field. あの、気がついた方は、いらっしゃるかもわかりません。ここに白い点々が1、2、3、4個あります。これは技法的にはあの実装でちょんちょんちょんとこうあの刃の上に乗せたんですけれども、なぜこんなのあるかというと、まあこ
And what this is, this is a ceramic uh, jar that is used to pickle plums. And um, uh, plumbed pickles uh, are, plum pickles are something that is traditional to Japan. Uh, and in my household too, every summer, my wife, um, Tsuyako-san, buys plums and she put them in this jar and to create pickle. And one day I went out to the living room and I saw this jar that is covered using paper and rope. And I was very interested in the difference in texture between this wrinkliness of paper and the smoothness of ceramic bowl, uh, ceramic jar. And that became the inspiration for this piece. あの、先ほどのお飾りの作品もそうでしたけども、こういうふうに分割してる作品、まあ、ここに一つのプレート、これプレート、1、2、3、4つの銅版のあ切ったパーツですね。これを一緒にこう印刷してるんですけど、な
his prints used mica on the background to give kind of a shimmery texture. And so this is sort of a, a reference to that tradition. And this is a very large moon done using um, gold leaf. And it sort of looks like the moon kind of fell from the sky. And this again is based on a very old Japanese tale. And it became actually a movie very recently, The Princess Kaguya. Um, yeah, so it's based on that story. あの、田んぼの絵を買ったというんですね。その田んぼの水が鏡になって見えるという日本の表現があります。ですからこれは田んぼの跡ですけれども、それを上から見て、あの、ま、空が映ってる鏡に見えるという表現ですね。so this is uh, a bird's eye view of rice field. Um, after you know you cultivate rice, what um, farmers do is to uh, just pour water into the field. And there is an expression in Japanese called mizukagami, or the water mirror, so that the water that is put into the rice field is so clear that it becomes kind of a mirror and it reflects. So this is a bird's eye view showing this sky that is um, reflected on the water on the field. Yeah. Oh, so this is uh, Mount Fuji that is reflected upside down. Okay, next. This こう土壁に興味を持ってそれを表現したものですけれどもここからあの茶室に入るというそれをまあモンドリアンのいろんな分割ですねあれを私なりに画面を分割して実際にこう日本のものに浮かぶるイメージしたわけです So this is uh, one of the pieces from the window series and what you are seeing, you know, I was interested in the plastered wall of a tea house. So what you are seeing here is the stone step, and this is what is known as the crawl door. It's a square, small door that you open and you cr literally crawl into the tea room. So that's kind of a, a feature of a Japanese-style tea room. And this uh, division of the uh, picture plane is my kind of interpretation and superimposing of Mondrian's idea onto Japanese uh, uh, surface of a Japanese tea room. はい。これもそうですね。あの、円と角。実際こういう場所があるわけじゃありませんけれども、自分なりに画面をあの分割して曲線と直線というふうな抽象と具象がこう一緒の画面に入ってるわけですね。so this is again from the same series, and I'm very much interested in, uh, in different shapes and different ways of dividing the space, and uh, you know, uh, uh, figurative and abstract are putting one, uh, one scene, one, one motif. モンドリアンはまあこういう具体的なものを描かない色面だけですけれども。まあ、私はその色面で分割されたところに木の質感であるとか、土の質感、竹の質感とか、そういう具体的なものをその分割した色面に組み込んでいったわけですね。So, as you know, Mondrian only is only was only interested in color, but in my case, in this uh, flat divided space, I included, you know, texture, for instance, the texture of the plastered wall or texture of the wood that is used and texture of this bamboo。あの、この赤い色の壁っていうのは、ま、京都の祇園に行けば皆さん見ることができると思うんですけれども、壁の中にあのベンガラという粉を混ぜて赤い壁を作るんですね。それのあの作品です。So the red that you see here um, this is this kind of red wall you can actually see if you go to Kyoto or you know if you go to the uh, 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 entertainment pleasure district of Kyoto, uh, Gion. And uh, the way that it's done is uh, red pigment is uh, uh, mixed in with plaster to create this red color. 
あの魔除けの色という、まあ、あの意味合いがありまして赤いものをつけるとかそれからまたはあの赤い、えー、糸で結ばれるとか結婚する前の2人は生まれつき赤い糸で結ばれてるというかその赤いものに対してや,っぱやはりシンボライズの意味を持たせてるわけですね。Mm-hmm. So, red in Japan from prehistoric period has this sort of talismanic、um, meaning.、Uh, you know, it wards off evil, but also when two people are、uh, destined to be with each other,、um, what people sometimes say is that these two people were born being tied to each other with red strings. まあ、こ,これは障子ですね。障子を通して見たところがモノクロになってて、障子をオープンしたところが有彩色、意識彩を持つということをこの中で表現しています。So this is again a, a, a piece from this window series. And、uh, what you see is the lotus pond in the middle. And this is the、uh, paper sliding door,、um, traditional Japanese paper sliding door. And the parts that is open、uh, Is colored and the parts that are you know, hidden by the sliding door is dark in, like in shadow. So, the side is the side of the side. 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 So, the side is the side of the side. So, again,、uh, the texture of the plastering and the paper. And wood. Those are the three you know, main ingredients in Japanese architecture. This is again、uh, the red wall of the Gion's、um, uh, uh, outside wall. Okay. So, this is、uh, a view of the inside of a Japanese tea room, and this is、uh, a wallpaper that has Japanese calligraphy on it. And similar idea. So, this is the,、uh, from my studio, I can see Mount Fuji, and this is sort of inspired by that view. はい、これも、まあ、イメージの世界ですけれども、あ、OK、あのこちらがモノクロでラ,ラインで、あの少しあの線と面で描いて、こっちは立体的に描いて、まあウ,ウィンドウシリーズで中央を具体的に描いて、左右をまあ抽象的に作ってあの描いたという例です。OK、so this is again、uh, one of the window series piece,、um, and you can see That the center part、uh, is colored、um, and it's much more、uh, detailed and graphic. And to the side,、uh, this is monochrome and、uh, done using line. Okay, so, this is a series、uh, origami or the Japanese.、Uh, Paper uh, folding, uh, what is it? Paper、はい、series.、はい、And the,、はいね、the texture of paper、はい、is emphasized.、はい、これはあの都月橋って京都のやはりあのこの橋が都月橋名前通りですね。月がこの橋を渡るというそういう美しい名前。嵐山のところに都月橋という橋があります。その名前からイメージした作品です。月が。So, there is uh, uh, in uh, a place called Arashiyama in Kyoto, there is a very famous bridge called Togetsukyo or the Moon Traveling Bridge.、Um, and it's a very, very poetic idea. And based on the name of the bridge, I came up with this work. Kimono series, Korega, this is the Saki Hodo, the e x t r i b u s book plate. アイデアを得て中国の方から着物で作品を作ってくれていったそのブックプレートが自分の絵にこう大きな作品になった作品の一つです。まあ、日本の昔からの唐獅子ボタンからあの獅子とボタンそれから竜富士山
それをモチーフにしました。So this is the piece,、um, something that I mentioned earlier.、Uh, this is the piece that I was inspired by the, when I made the book plate for a Chinese collector. So this collector、uh, requested a piece that had a kimono motif on it.、Um, and this is part of a kimono series. And being inspired by that idea, he incorporated that in his own works. And in this case, this one, they both have kind of traditional Japanese motifs. And this is、uh, lion, Chinese lions and、um, peonies. And in this case, Mount Fuji and dragon. This is, an, again, another piece from the, the kimono series. これもあの日本、中国のお話かな、これは。あの鯉があの滝を登ってあの、将来、竜になるという、そういうお話をこの着物に託したんです。そう、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、They、uh, swim up the waterfall and they become dragon. And it's, so,、uh, it's an auspicious motif. This is one of So, this is one of my favorite piece,、uh, pieces, and I represented four seasons using、uh, four kimonos. So, this is spring, this is summer, and this is autumn. It's got the seven grasses of autumn, and this is winter. まあ、ささやかな親の気持ちとしてそのお嫁さんにあの晴れ着をこう作ってプレゼントしたわけですね。So、um, this is a piece that I created two years ago when my elder son got married.、Uh, they decided to not、uh, have a wedding, so、um, I decided to have this, make this humble gift.、Um, <laughs> and this is the,、um, the wedding robe. まだあの言葉は生まれてませんけれども、こちらはですね、日本の古来の子供の玩具ですね。子供の玩具をこの中にあの,のれんに書いてるわけです。まあ、ささやかな希望をここに描いてるわけです。So, um, this is one of those、uh, のれん、the、uh, curtain that we have been talking about.、Um, and what you see on here are child's、uh, traditional toys. And you know, of course, this, is, this was a wedding gift, so they didn't have、uh, a baby yet. But、um, this is sort of、uh, uh, our, you know, our hope、uh, that is represented just in the corner. <laughs> so the characters at the center is Shomon.、Um, and Uh, this is another auspicious、uh, gate or door decoration. And show is to laugh.、Um, so, you know, the idea here is that if you are happy, if you're laughing, and the happiness will come to you.、ね、so,、um, warau kado ni wa fuku kitaru. So, it's like.、Uh, The, the doorway with, filled with laughter will attract happiness. This is again a similar、um, motif. So, this is at the top, is,、um, this is one of the、uh, more recent series. And this is a Jap traditional Japanese poem、uh, written in traditional、um, uh, Japanese calligraphy way. And at the bottom, I、uh, sort of represent the content of the poem down here. Two poems. 
So this was one poem. This was called. This is called a one poem, uh, and this is called two poems. This is three poems. Next. <laughs> Four poems. Four poems. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't made five poems yet. <laughs> Next. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So this again, uh, I represent four seasons, so spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And behind these fans, the fans are sort of streaming down the river. And this is based on a courtier's game uh, during Heian period, which is 794 to 1192-ish. Uh, um, and uh, what it is is uh, courtier who are dressed up in kimono. Uh, few people will kind of sit by the river to upstream, and few people can sit towards downstream. And the people who are at upstream will uh, write the uh, first verse of a poem and uh, flow it down the river. And the person at the bottom uh, has to pick it up and write the, uh, the second verse. So this is based on that game. This is あの、時間の流れを水の流れにこうダブルイメージにしてるわけです。So the this is the flow of the river and on the fan what I have are different uh, festivals that are associated with the four seasons. So I am doubling the flow of the river with the flow of time. それから節分、それから子供の日、恋のぼり、それから小老流し、花火、お祭り、それから節十五夜さんですね。月の中にウサギが米をついてるっていうのは日本のあの子供たちはみんなウサギを見るわけです。そして、雪ウサギですね。それ
but on that particular day, there was this Japanese um, sort of uh, traditional songs playing on the radio, sort of like Japanese country songs. And, um, and I heard this, uh, 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 it's called Miyo, and I heard this Miyo from the northern regions where you know, I was born and grew up, uh, called Nambu Tawarazumi, so the uh, uh, rice bale piling in this Tohoku Nambu region. And I would like to play the song for you um, now. It's a very, very happy song. It's a very auspicious song that uh, people often sing uh, for weddings. So here it is. Let me have it on. あの、
寄付します。あの、if you have a chance to come to this museum and have a chance to see this work, please remember me and today, please. Donate to you all. Yeah, donate. So as a, as a token of thanks, I will donate this humble gift to the museum. So if you ever have a chance to come to the museum again, please come and enjoy my piece and remember me. Yeah.